All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound, or he can chase the mission. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase choke. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the hook. Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset. When he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. Big head kick. Oh, nice. Ooh. And now he lands a combination. Oh. oh huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, oh you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Doesn't seem to be in a great position to finish the triangle. Oh, nice. Posturing up now. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. A single collar tie here. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Back, 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 back. Go, guys, work. 20 seconds now remain in the round. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Five minutes in the books. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. is now dealing with a shoot cut. Ferguson gets back up. No surprise there. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Oh, oh. big knee. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. El Cucu, he gets back up. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful legs. Had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Well, no surprise, ref not seeing enough action. He steps in and motions the fighter back up. Oh! So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29. Beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. He went high on that one. Nice punch by Edwards. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice. Nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Edwards gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Combination for Ferguson is good. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Punch no good. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And he oh, comes nice through knee. with a big knee. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the top. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Ferguson gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. 30 seconds to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that fight. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe, Secures the top position. Well, you know he's not done yet, but the numbers to this point, 62 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And striking with 48% accuracy tonight thus far against Tony Ferguson. Nice punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 31 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards.